Okay, what's up guys? Hola, senor and senores. Uh, today, I'm going to go ahead and go over this quick tutorial, and we're going to make this really pretty looking energy ball. Let me just full render that real quick. Let's see if it'll render for... There we go, look at how gorgeous that is. It's so beautiful, oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put it to quarter render just so that we can get this to the tutorial faster. Um, let me go ahead and show you how I uh, how I did it. Uh, let me actually go ahead and play it real quick. There we go. Now it's kind of a little, got a little bit of an animation. Give it some life. It is uh, it is an energy ball. Uh, I guess I can make it a little faster. Just a little faster. Turbulent evolution multiplied by time times 100 instead of 65. Now we know that for next time. Now we know. Now we know for sure. Alright, so here's a five seconds worth of render. It is real time right now. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay, there we go. Let's Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put this together now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything. Boop. Yay! Okay, new comp. I'm going to go ahead and make it uh, HD TV 1080p at 24 frames per second. Uh, let's see. I only need about 10 seconds worth, so let's just make it 10 seconds. Voila! Ha ha! Alright, let's make this fit. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and make a new solid. There we go. This is just going to hold the basic, uh, just the uh, energy ball itself here. And I'm going to go into the effects controls here, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go down to what is here. It's called Render AE Flame. Now, if you don't know what that is, uh, let me just open it up. AEScripts.com. I got this plugin from AE Scripts, as you can see here. Just go ahead and open up AEScripts.com, and then search for AE Flame. Do, 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 da, voila. Yep, so there you go, AE space flame. And this uh, this is what we're going to use right here. So, right click, render, AE flame. It's a really, really fancy plugin, however, it's a little buggy. Be warned, sometimes this can cause After Effects to crash. So when you use this, uh, this plugin, just be careful. Alright, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to global commands. I'm going to choose something spherical. Ah, oh, gorgeous! Look at that, it's beautiful. Um, let's see here, I'm going to go into global parameters, and I'm going to increase the brightness. Ooh, mm, look at that, so gorgeous! Oh my gosh! Contrast a little bit. Uh, no, I can't see anything happening with the contrast. All right, brightness. Um, not too bright because we're going to do a glow effect later. White level. I I'm not sure what that does. We're just gonna leave that where it was. I think it was what was 200, 200. Voila! All right, so we're not gonna touch that. Hue rotation. Uh, let's do the light blue because that's what I showed you in the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that light blue. Okay. We don't really need to do the hue rotation. Just get it close to something that you're gonna. Just get it close to whatever color you're gonna make here. Not that big a deal otherwise. Now, go ahead and close global parameters and go into X form 0. Here we go. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, X form 0 command and make it squarely. Where is it? Spherical, sorry. Spherical. Um, you know, let's just leave it spherical. Um, okay. That's good. Blah, 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 blah. La, 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 la. Okay. Uh, these uh, variables here, the coefficient, they just kind of affect which direction things twist. I'm going to go ahead and just find something kind of pretty and, and a little symmetrical, kind of centered here. That's gorgeous. going to go ahead and mess with the other ones, kind of just play a little bit. A little bit. Make it a little bit nice. Make it gorgeous. Okay. Here we go. All right. That, that right there is wonderful. That is perfect. That'll be perfectly fine right there. All right, now that we've got that set up, let's go ahead and close the. Uh, let's just drop or whatever. Close, close this. Whatever that little arrow thing on the bottom that puts it up. Okay, wonderful. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and right click, and we're going to make distort. Let's see here. 
gonna go down to turbulent displays. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Amount, uh, quite a bit. Size, way down. Very little. Not, not that little. We want it to make it look like it's still moving around. Give it a good amount. There we go. Evolution. Alt click the evolution time. Type value equals time multiplied by 100, as we did earlier. There we go. <coughs> All right. So here's the full 10 seconds worth. That's about the the speed that it's going to go, and uh, that's a lovely speed actually. I think I'm going to increase the, uh, I mean, decrease the size just a little bit, increase the amount, and uh, slow it down. It's a little too quick. All right, so let's try 80 percent, or 80, or multi time multiplied by 80. Here we go. Zero five seconds worth. All right, so that that's uh, that's a pretty that's a pretty reasonable uh, time right there. There we go. All right, let's see. Now we're going to go ahead and right click again. Oops, make sure we have that layer selected. Okay, right click. <clears throat> and I'm going to go to distort again. Uh, and it's going to be CC lens is what we're going to use this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. All right, let's decrease the size. Let's mess with its um, coverance. There we go. So negative 200 for the coverance is what I'm going to go ahead and do. And I'm going to move it over to where the center is a little more the brighter part of the sphere. Here we go. Wonderful. That's, oh, it's gorgeous. Look at it. So nice. Okay. One more. Right click. Uh, generate light. Oh, I'm sorry. No. No. no, Not yet. I was, I was just thinking about that. I might just try that anyway. Uh, but we're actually going to do right click. What am I doing? Stylize. Glow. There we go. Alright, bring down the threshold to about 25% or so. Just about. Increase the radius a little bit and decrease the intensity to about 0.5. Increase the radius again just a little bit. That's good. Alright, now we're going to. Uh, oops. Drop that up. Select it and hit Control D to duplicate the glow effect, but increase the radius. That way we kind of get a nice eveny glow type feel going on around it. Decrease the intensity. Just to make, make it a very subtle effect. There we go. Alright, now we're going to right click, color correction, Cur curves. I almost said Karama. Alright, curves. Let's increase the blue, because I like blue. Blue is very pretty. Decrease the red to get rid of that purpleness. And there you go. Gorgeous. Oh my god, just look at that. Just look at it. Okay. <coughs> Yep, I'm a fan of Ed Bassmaster, if you didn't know. Alright, let's go ahead and animate that just a little bit. Go up to about four seconds worth. Alright, that's very, very pretty. Very nice. Very nice. It's so nice. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Okay. Alright, let's see. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yes. Let's go ahead and try that uh, generate. <laughs> Like rays. Here we go. Let's go ahead and just try that. I don't know. Uh, no, definitely not happening. It's gorgeous, but we can't have it. Sorry, sorry guys. Just not this time. Let's try generate light burst 2.5. Go ahead and put that in the center there. Uh, intensity down, or intensity up, ray length down, just a schmidge. There we go. Alright. Okay, that's actually really pretty. I think I think I might, uh, a little less ray length. Very little. Very subtle. Very subtle, but still very pretty effect. Let's go ahead and leave that on. Now we're going to do, go ahead and, uh, uh, right click. Video Copilot. I have optical flares. Go ahead and turn it. Oh, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. All right, render mode on original. Wonderful. All right, options. I have a lens flare in here that I'm going to go ahead and use. Let's see. Here it is. All right, and I'm actually going to go ahead and edit the lens for just real quick. Scale way down because I like the dusty look. But this is a little too much. Let me go ahead and increase the number of objects. Let's see. 
make it very nice. There we go. That's pretty stylish. There we go. <coughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay. So it looks like it's not going anywhere. Hmm. Over transparent. Over black. Over original preview RGB layer. Nope. Uh, this isn't working, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and delete the optical flares. And I'm going to right click in the timeline, hit new, go solid. Okay, now here is where I'm going to make the lens flare. Optical flares. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so gorgeous. It's so pretty. Alright, lens orbs. Here we go. Uh, scale. Down. These teeny little dust speckles. And uh, let's see. Number of objects. Let's go ahead and make that like 300 something. Just like irrationally crazy. Scale random. Uh, let's go ahead and make that a little bit. Brightness random. No. Alright. Um, illumination radius. Let's make it to where it's only around the light here. Okay. <clears throat> ah, nice. Okay. Let's make that layer blending mode. Add. There we go. Gorgeous. Now let's go ahead and move the optical flare to the center ish, or to the brightest part of our energy orb here. Let's go ahead and uh, decrease the scale just a little bit. But increase the brightness. There we go. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous effect. And look at how quickly we made it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. So now all we got to do. <coughs> excuse me is uh, go into the optical flares position, hit alt, click, and we're going to take the, uh, the pick whip thingamabob and drag it down to the black solids. Uh, actually, no, sorry, let go of the pick whip, un alt, click the uh, position xy. Close that. We're going to go in here into the black solid here. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to go into the effects and presets and we're going to type in transform because I keep forgetting where it is. It's in this door. Wow. Put that right there. Anchor point. Let's go ahead and adjust the anchor point just a bit to where the 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 the, the thing the center uh, is actually centered. So just adjust the anchor point just a little, little, little bit. And there we go. So now when we move around the center, uh, it the the energy orb is actually around the center, or looks so much like it is. Wonderful. And we do this because we don't want the edge of our um, of our uh, comp to show. Uh, you know, the other way is to actually move the the comp is. I mean, the solid here, the layer. I mean, sorry, not the comp. the The other way would be to actually manually move this around, but that can get very messy. Plus, the edges will be hard. You cannot soften those. Um, all right, so there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and leave. Uh, we're gonna double click on the position for the transform here, uh, so it so it pops out. There it is. I'll go ahead and select it. Show you there in the timeline. We're gonna need to remember that. Now we go up to the black solid with optical flares. Uh, Alt click the position and then drag the pick whip down to. What did I open earlier? There it is. There it isn't. Uh, almost got it. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. The position of the transform. Wonderful. Okay. Click somewhere. Ah, wonderful. La, la, la. <clears throat> so now all we got to do is move around the center of the transform, and it controls both our lens flare and our energy ball. So if you want this uh, energy ball to kind of uh, travel along an animated path or something like that, you can uh, animate it to do so, like it's shooting out of somebody's hands or a gun. Or laser, or whatever, and uh, there you go. You're done. You have successfully created a gorgeous-looking uh, energy ball type thing. Let's go ahead and just animate it about two seconds worth. Is okay? Boop. Okay. The only thing is, it's a very slow render. Remember, I'm at a quarter render. Uh, it's very uh, complicated in effect, uh, but you know, it just depends on your machine. Uh, I mean, it's not that complicated of an effect, but it's got so many stacked uh, effects uh, changing it. It just uh, takes up a little bit of your RAM, so just remember that. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and up the brightness just a little bit down the scale. Here we go. 
I don't know. I'm just playing now. Oh, that's that's nice, actually. I really like it. It's so gorgeous. And I like it. Look at that. Okay. So there you go. You've got a really pretty energy orb type floaty looking thing. Uh, it's very gorgeous. I love this. I'm just going to look at it. I'm gonna make, maybe I should render this out as a de desktop. It's so pretty. All right. Let's say I'm about, about 15 minutes of recording time. Um, let's see. Is there anything extra that we can do just to, to kind of give this a little flavor? I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, one thing we can do is uh, add... Um, Uh, let me let me look let me search for it real quick. I have it. All right. Um, ghost uh, frame number frame worm expression. No, what is it? It's it's uh, it's uh key generate. Oh, it's something it's so awesome. I have to I have to show you the guys. It's, it's like it's like making a really nice lens blur. Oh wait, is it in blur? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Force motion blur. Is this it? Motion blur samples. Uh, shutter angle. No, it's not this one. It's ah, goodness. It's like doubling or. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get upset because I can't figure this out. Um alright, what is that effect? It's that one effect that basically uh, is a like it creates ghost frames behind and you can blur them and add an amount of them. Oh, what is it called? I need to find the simulate. Uh stylize. Oh my goodness, I gotta show you this. Glass for film, threshold, threshold, RGB, cartoon, turn da, 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 da. Oh, let's see. Simulation, robite. Oh, I also have plexus if you haven't seen those uh, uploads. They're very, very pretty. Perspective, obsolete, noise and grain. Alright, let me see. Matt, no. King, generate. Expression, distort. Maybe it's in here. Nope, not in here. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get so upset. I can't find it. Color channel blur. It, it might be in here. I mean, this is compound directional Gaussian. Do center nice. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get so upset. It's time. Time. Oh, time offset. Echo. Ha ha ha. Okay. Here we go. Transform. We're gonna, hit, we're gonna hit the positions uh, uh, watch thing. Go forward about four seconds. Drag it to the other side of the screen. <clears throat> but on the first second, it's gonna shoot way up here. There we go. You can already see it's starting to blur, kind of. I hope I didn't bore you guys with how much time I wasted. All right. Anyway, so there we go. So it's gonna shoot up here real quick and then it's gonna kinda of flow down so that's what we got so we're gonna kinda of fake the motion blur but not on the lens blur so much uh, I mean the lens flare we're only gonna blur the um this uh, energy ball because that's that's the part that we uh, that kinda of has I don't know lens flares you just never see them blurred so I'm just gonna go ahead and not blur it right now or if you wanted to you could put this echo on an adjustment layer I guess but I'm not going to alright number of echoes let's go ahead and make it five that seems brilliant echo time delay alright and I'm gonna go ahead uh, oh see see look at that it's so cool so awesome alright I'm gonna put it behind time alright starting intensity uh, let's leave that at one. There we go. Ending intensity way down. So it's kind of like it's falling off in a sense. 
There we go. That's that's a nice distance right there. Let's see. Let's increase the number, and it'll go longer. Oops. Seven eight. I guess. Whoa! Too far. Let's see. That's too far. That's not far enough. Oh, this is so difficult. That was stressful. Oh my gosh. See, I can get it to go ahead of time just right. Alright, so negative point oh five. <clears throat> ah, that's very nice right there. Number of echoes, ten. Starting intensity, leave it at one, decay. Just a bit there we go. Okay. A little less. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna decrease the point zero negative point zero five to point zero three. Which I guess I know I had earlier. Okay, let's go ahead and animate a little bit of that. <laughs> so it's kind of faking a, a, an interesting type of motion blur type thing here. But the lens flare, I don't know why you don't ever see the lens flare get blur blurred like that, but whatever. I'm not going to right now. You can if you want, but whatever. All right. So there, it's kind of making it a light motion blur. The only thing about this uh, energy ball, now that we've finished, <clears throat> is that um, this is very static when it's in motion. So you might want to make something that uh, makes a, a trail or something like that, or ooh, I'm a genius. Okay, delete the echo. New. Adjustment layer, and we're going to put the uh, optical flares above that, and we're going to make bring back the echo. Just type it in real quick. There we go. Put it on the adjustment layer there. <clears throat> Do about the same thing. Number of echoes. Increase that to I don't know, a bunch. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at eight. Decay, way down. Oop, negative point zero. <coughs> Four. Let's try that this time. La, 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 la. Okay, there we go. Oh, see, see, that's what we're. That's a really nice the decay. A little more. Go. All right. So it's too far offset. Point zero two. All right. So we want it to look like a blur, not so much like it's got steps behind it. But uh, anyway, so it's more like a blur there. And oh, dang it! I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Alright, so we're going to make a new solid. Da, 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 da. See, this is why I don't make tutorials. I'm so confusable and I get knocked off track so quickly. Alright, fractal noise. So we're just going to have that, okay? Uh, evolution, fault, click. Uh, value equals time multiplied by 100. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and see what that looks like. Uh, it looks like it's flinching pretty quickly, so I'm going to go ahead and make it. I'm going to leave it, actually. That's that's good. That's a good amount. Go and close that up. R drag it to the bottom. Unclick the eyeball so it doesn't actually show. Go to the adjustment layer. Right-click. Distort. And... Displacement map. All right, now we're going to select that black solid, but we need to pre-compose it because it won't work otherwise. Pre-compose. Move all. There we go. <clears throat> I know I went really quick, but you know you can always pause the video after each step. All right, adjustment layer. Make sure it's that uh, pre-comp. There we go. Uh, distort based on luminescence. Increase it by a bunch. All right. So let's just get like a kind of. There we go. Let's just see what that's kind of doing there. One second. All right. So now you can see that it's it's it looks much more animated. Like when it's moving through, it actually looks like it's you know it actually looks like it's moving through space. <coughs> now, if you also want, you could. Uh, leave these two effects on the original, 
you just have to mind yourself that this displacement map is gonna affect also what you've got on your original uh, turbulent displace over here just mind you that that will make things look weird alright so now that we've kinda got this let's go ahead and go to full render on this frame here we've got some distance and I mean it already looks gorgeous you know this could make for a really really fantastic looking energy ball type effect just gonna take a, a minute to render here it's pretty complicated pretty stacked up and I'm on a laptop that's all I have but you know what I like my laptop alright just about done ah, there we go alright look at how gorgeous that is okay let's go ahead and make it a third render um, and we're going to hit zero, and we're going to go ahead and watch this thing in action. So already, you know, just just playing around, just playing around with things, I've already created an effect that's way, 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 way better than what I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial. You know, so for those of you who actually stayed and and endured my rambling and watched it, you know, you you are going to make a better effect than those other people who kind of just like watched the first part and said, okay, I got it and left. <clears throat> so you can take pride in that. Alright, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Alright, so it kind of looks like it's just being distorted by a glassy effect. So, go over to your uh, noise comp here. Increase the speed of the evolution. Let me do this by multiplying it by a higher number. Let's go ahead and triple it. 300. So it's really going to fly. Alright. Oops, what did I do? Nothing. Oh yeah, I clicked on something. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Alright, so it's still trying to land. I wonder if it knows that I increased it to like 3, 400. There we go. There we go. All right. No, it looks like it's not. Let me try and uh, quarter. And still going really quick, like it, uh, like it has that part cached, but I increased the evolution rate, so this should uh, make it look. What is this? I didn't open anything, did I? Okay, I did not. Wonderful. All right, click, click. Now let's see. Is it is it running? All right. You know, I'm just gonna change the evolution settings. I mean the the whole. So let's uh, turbulent dynamic. That's pretty. Dynamic twist. That is awesome. I'm gonna use that one. Alright, so it is still pretty slow, believe it or not. So I'm going to make it like 75, 750, I mean. Alright, so now let's hit render. There we go, now it's, it's going the speed that it would, as if I changed something dramatically. And it looks much better, also. <clears throat> Just go ahead and see that real quick. Uh, let's keep rendering to a second so I can see better. Okay. Alright, so it uh, it looks a lot better now that it's kind of gotten animation to those uh, distortions there. So there you go. You guys have a gorgeous looking uh, gorgeous looking effect. Uh, energy ball thing. So I'm at 30 minutes recording. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys at that. Uh, go ahead and play with it. Make this effect your own. You know, just make it into something amazing. Don't just copy this, because I see a lot of people doing that, especially to poor Andrew Kramer. That poor guy. He makes so many amazing effects. He puts out tutorials for them. People copy them, put them in their portfolio. It's one thing to put them in there and say, you know, I learned this from Andrew Kramer. But a lot of people are actually selling their services based on only the tutorials that they followed and it's obvious and it's really really lame 
So don't do that. Make this effect your own. Use the, the methods, not the effect itself. I mean, if you need to recreate this effect exactly, well, then obviously there's nothing you can do. You need to do it. But, um, yeah, just make this effect your own. Go play with it. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm so sorry I rambled a ton, but you know what? That's just me. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.